Hello everyone, this is Bob Evans. I'd like to say a few words about the five submissions I have for the Milford TV monochrome show. The first image is called Walking the Dog. This was shot at Shaw's Farm and uh, I introduced the uh, the figures there. Uh, I should say I, I shot this with the figures there deliberately in mind here to show the scale of the place. And it's a um, shot from the far end of uh, Shaw's Farm and I particularly like the uh, lines of the clouds. And of course I darken the sky as it's a, uh, a monochrome image. I reduce the blue to give this more contrast. And of course the figures and the dog uh, give it some scale. Uh, it was shot using a wide angle lens. The second image um, was shot about 30 years ago in Liverpool, UK. And this was a film uh, that I developed. It was actually shot on the film HB5 uh, by Ilford, as I say, in 1991. And it's of a small street or a, a back alley called uh, Sweeting Street. And I like the leading lines and also the the filmy look to it. In, in other words, it's not a really stark, um, high contrast, high detail digital image. It shows a time and a place. At least I feel that it um, it depicts it in a good way. At least how I remember it to be, including the garbage and the gutter. The next image is shot uh, using infrared uh, photography of Riverdale Pond, which is... Uh, just a short walk from where I live. Here I wanted to show the clouds and the reflections in the lake and and the trees. I just like the way that it conveys an image of sort of slightly unreal. Um, the next one is a shot of Linwood Mill and the train tracks. Um, for those who don't know, uh, Linwood Mills towards the south end of Northbridge and it was built in the 1800s and um, it was water powered initially and then it was steam powered actually the uh, the water inlet or the head race is just to the right side of this image and the train tracks uh, are still there but of course there's no trains on them anymore but they used to wa uh, run up Linwood Avenue and Main Street in um, in Northbridge or Whitensville from the Providence and Worcester main line to uh, service the Whiting Mills there. But uh, it was a long time ago that they were they were covered up. It's uh, just a small portion of them are exposed. Again, what I wanted to show here was the link between transportation and the old worldly side of things and uh, the mill. I also like the sky and the clouds in this. The final image is of uh, an old mill again in uh, Boroughville, Rhode Island. Here uh, it was a very long uh, area and again I used a wide angle lens to show the, um, the extent of the mill and I think the black and white treatment works well at this. It looks, it looks far better in black and white than it does in color. Again, it, it depicts the decay and the devilic nature of this and the sadness of uh, an old factory that's not been used for many years. I believe this was, uh, I don't know, many years uh, since it's been used. Anyway, I hope you enjoy them. Thanks.